Create a web share. Click export and then web share cloud. I'll click export web share project and it'll suggest for me to save the changes. It recognizes that I added a viewpoint, so I'll go ahead and click yes and add. I'll, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, the gap filler, use export grayscale images, and click export. Now that the project point cloud is correction, the web share has been created. We need to look at exporting the web share to go. So the web share to go can be placed anywhere. So you need to have a place selected on your computer where you can export your web share to go files. In this case, we'll put it with the project so that we keep everything together. So I'll go to the Gap Creek project. And here I'll create a new folder called Gap Creek Web Share to go. Go back to scene. I've clicked on apps. I'll click on web share to go. Transfer web share to go data. I'll click the browse button. I'll go locate the folder I just created. Make sure that folder name is populated here under the word or the section called folder and click OK again and then transfer data. Transferring data typically doesn't take very long at all. Once the data is transferred I can go open the web share project. I'll do that by minimizing the scene because I left the Windows File Explorer window open, I can go directly to the Gap Creek Web Share to Go folder, click on Start Web Share to Go, now at the time this scan was conducted there were no GPS coordinates on the scanner, the scanner was not equipped with GPS. So that's why we don't see any GPS or mapping here. However, I will click on the Gap Creek icon. Here we have a top view orthographic image and I can click on any one of these scans and choose to view the panoramic. I can choose any of the other scans by clicking on these teardrops and click on show panoramic view. I can use the measuring tool.
It comes up in meters by default, so I can click on settings, my account, and change the length unit to feet, area to feet squared, and click OK. Thank you.